Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant. We are back to continue our playthrough of Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. So, we are exploring the Rhymebound Temple. This is the Eastern Cavern. We had just found the sister of the, the little girl in the village. She was convinced she wanted to become a construct. I tried to convince her otherwise. <laughs> I couldn't. So, well, I might as well just help her. And when we were finishing this up yesterday, uh, she actually came out as a construct and she came over here and opened this door. So I'm very curious to see what we can find here. Oh. Thick layers of ice coat this chest, sealing it closed. Oh, interesting. Examine it for weaknesses. You kneel on the cold ground, cl uh, closely scrutinizing the frozen container. A small gap, just large enough for a pry bar or a kid's fingers, is visible between the lid of the chest and its body. One second, please. And back. Um, mm -mm. I'm just gonna blast it with fire because it makes sense to melt the ice. With a few gestures and chanted words, Alot summons forth a gout of blistering flame. Accompanied by a cloud of steam and a chorus of hisses and pops, the ice slows away, freeing it the chest below. So now we can open it. Okay. Oh, frosty. <laughs> plus one freeze armor rating and plus four accuracy with frost attacks. All right. A cool item. Can I pick? I can. Okay, so I'm not sure if she's my friend, if she's neutral, whatever is going on here. I'm always fearful of sarcophagies. Or of sarcophagi. Plural of sarcophagus, I guess. Let's take a look. Ooh. A winter hide bull uh, winter tide bulwark. It's a large shield. It's superb. Frostbitten Palisades. Large shield weapon proficiency now grants a 25% chance to deal freeze damage when missed by a melee weapon. Ah, oh, come on. Now that I have all of my proficiencies done. It's soulbound. It's it's soulbound. Wow. Well, one more toy for you there. I, you see, you see what I say when I talk about being afraid of sarcophagi. She is my friend, though. Maybe she will help me. Okay, let's get this going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I reach him? I can. So I should expect ice blights coming out of this later. This guy is very weak versus fire. Interesting. So actually, wait, let, let's just bleed this one and wound that. Oh, I cannot. Never mind. So, hey there. Just come over here. To block their passage. Okay. Seems fine. Mr. Piggy can also go fight. These bitches are blinking somewhere. To Pilgrim Eris. Okay. It makes no difference. That's kind of annoying. I'm gonna kill these first and then worry about the ones in the back. Because I'm also gonna have lightning to help out. So I guess I will want this. And then this. Seems good to me. Uh, and I'm gonna work on these with my rogue. Or actually... Bleed this and bleed that. Um, I don't like the amount of attention you're taking. I'm gonna make you invulnerable. Yeah. Okay, so he is now invincible. 
So now I can buff freely <clears throat> without having to worry too much about this. this does not work. Okay, we push them both back. We have a wall of flame going. We have lightning going. Might as well get a moon well over here to heal my friend. Yeah, but look at the amount of damage they're taking. Just keeps on ticking and ticking and ticking. Okay. Well, same reasoning as above. <laughs> Why not use this, right? Okay, so you're going back. Um... Maybe just... No, they're immune to cold. Right, right, right. I don't know. Let's let's use this. It makes no difference. <laughs> Look at all this AoE, man. It's insane the amount of damage that does. Uh, he's gonna die. So, Eder, come help. Mm -hmm. A chill fog, you say? Let's see if I can interrupt this. Okay. Dead. And done. Well, I'll take care of it. Yeah, this place, at least at least for now, I don't want to jinx it. But at least for now is being much easier than the Forgotten Sanctum area. Okay. So far, so good. What did I find out? Oh, snow bears. Ooh, Papa Snow Bear. Oh, we killed the mama, now we have the papa. But again, if the game keeps giving me choke points, <laughs> I mean, it should. It's fun to use choke points, I like it. So I am gonna have fun with it. And we're gonna stay up here. Okay. So, the usual. Hello. Come back. I'm gonna buff him this time. And this is actually very handy. I liked using that. Okay. Uh, this over here seems fine. Okay. Go. Uh, Takehum. Ah, lightning, yeah. So, Aloth. What do we want with you? Come over here. They're actually kind of stuck back there. Uh, if only the game let me do this. I'm gonna try it. Oh, I can, I can. Good, good, good. So we have lightning coming in from Takehu. I can lower their armor rating because why not? I've never used this before. I'm gonna use it now. Okay, actually has decent chances to hit. Meteor Swarm! Woo! Back up. Okay, now you guys can just die over there. Yep. <laughs> More AoE! I'm thinking... This is overkill. Dude, Eloth just melts everything. It's not even fair. I'm being cocky and that's what's gonna kill me, I'm sure, but... I mean, come on. Oh! Wait, I have a meteor shower on me? Well, let's make use of this again. I am now invincible. So now I have time to heal. And if you finish this guy off, you're also gonna fully heal because of Triumph of the Crusaders. So let's actually not uh, hit this guy. 
I didn't think so. Okay. Oh, there is somebody over there with drawn. Smart, smart. Come on, dude. It's a snow bear. Makes no difference. Really? Now you're reloading? You had like 30 minutes to do it. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing special in terms of loot over here. That's actually good. Okay. And I'm guessing this basically also leads into the temple. Or maybe that balcony we saw outside. There was a body there with some loot. I'm getting spotted by constructs. Yeah, I'm gonna back up. I trust you. And I will assume that interacting with this is gonna cause these to go hostile. Quick save. This imp sits on the frozen ground, rhyme clinging to its flesh, wings draped protectively over its shoulders. Its mouth hangs agape, and the wrinkles around its eyes indicate that they're squeezed tightly shut. It grasps a small object in its hand. Examine the imp. The imp is not as unmoving as it first appears. You catch the slightest twitch of the tip of an ear and note a slight tension in its bony digits. The creature is alive, possibly in some form of hibernation. It would appear to be under some form of enchantment, but I sense nothing of the sort. Curious. Probably on the object. The imp's knobby knuckles wrap around what at first appears to be a sphere of solid ice, though a palpable power pulses beneath its surface, further cooling the frigid air around it. Oh, I have a stone relic? Wait. Um. Oh, this one, maybe. Okay. Let's replace the frozen relic with the stone relic. You withdraw the stone from your pack and attempt to quickly swap it with the frozen orb. The imp's grip on the orb proves stronger than you expected, foiling your attempt at a fast switch. Well, <clears throat> as you pull the creature's spindly fingers from the orb, its bright blue eyes burst open. The imp leaps away from you with a prolonged hiss, its leathery wings holding it aloft. Ah, warmling not take my ball! It's not warmlings to take! Go away! This place not your home! You probably die here! Imps are prone to rash behavior at the best of times, and I'd wager this one has seen better days. Hmm. I'll trade you something for your ball. Eh? Don't want warmlings things! Already oh. have ball! Ball everything imp needs! I'll give you this stone relic in exchange. It'll last much longer than a ball of ice. <laughs> Warmling may find rock shiny, but it only cold hard nothing. Intellect check. You dismiss the stone because it's not obviously magical, but you neglect its value as a cultural artifact. It, c it would command its own price from any of the worshippers at the outpost down the way. The imp stares at you, brilliant blue eyes narrowed to sharp edges. No! What God damn it! So smart with its big words and fancy words. Ah, friends, time for warmlings to leave now. It waves the sphere over its head. Okay, more concerts, I guess. Of course. There's a bunch of them. Um, let's reveal Aloth and keep everyone else. Hidden. This bitch is actually pointing for Mr. Piggy. We're gonna charge over there just to get close to my friends a little bit quicker. And you know, <clears throat> the usual buffing. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay, come here. This guy is shooting something interesting. I'm gonna put on a Moonwell just to make sure we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Aloth is starting to shoot. I don't want that. Let's go for a Slicken. Do I have range? Yes, I do. Okay. So Takehu has cast this thing. I would like to go for this, actually. Even if I hit it there, it doesn't really matter, so screw it. He got knocked back. I love it. Okay. Uh, since this guy is still casting, I'm going to start with the pool of Ira. I'm just going to have fun here. Can I actually make this smaller and just make sure they're there? No, it doesn't make much of a difference. Okay. So I want that there. Come on. Pull them. Didn't really work out. It's fine. We shall afflict them with this. Then we're gonna drop a wall of fire. And guess what's gonna happen after that? Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna blow this guy up right now. Okay. Might as well have another pull effect. Do it. Give me lightning. And then throw a ball of Ondra. Me things. No. God damn, this is amazing. I love it. I love it. Well, wizards are good. <laughs> Eye of Rimmergand. Grimoire. Tri oh, it's a trinket as well. Grants Winter's Veil. One per rest. Bleh. Allied AoE, 100% enemy crit to hit chance with non-veil piercing weapons. Minus 50% incoming damage from non-veil piercing attacks for 6 seconds. Hmm. That's actually quite good. So, who would want this? Trinkets are powerful pieces of equipment that grant the wielder a new ability. Click on a trinket in your inventory to pick it up and place it in the grimoire, blah blah blah. Okay. Thanks for this tutorial. <laughs> um, I think Ider. Or actually, maybe not Ider, because Ider already has a lot of defenses. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, and I... Why is my memory so absolutely terrible? I need to level this up, and I also want to level this up, and I completely forgot about it. It's very annoying that I don't have the, the large shield proficiency. I don't, do I? I might have you, uh, put it just for some weird reason. Nope, don't have it. Oh. Oh, I can bind it to the rogue or the fighter class. I would say fighter. Makes more sense. Pfft. Take 1000 damage. <laughs> okay, that's easy. <laughs> that's easy to do. Um Oh right, and and the trinket, I got distracted. So the trinket should probably go for the Kehu, I guess. Hmm. Does it bring out the color of my eyes? Yes, it does. Let's take a look. A bunch of ingredients. 
Ice has weighed down the structural integrity of the temple walls. Deep groans of pressure resonate from the stone. I wanna... Oh, this is also the, rim, uh, the rhyme bound temple. I wonder if this is the place where the... Um, the corpse is. On like that, that tiny balcony. Uh, it's... It's not. No, I want to go here. Okay, so I'm guessing it's the other exit. Let's just go there. Just wish the loading time wasn't so large for, you know, just this area right beside it. Yeah, it's got to be here, I think. Mm-hmm. Can you click it? Thank you. Brooch of Inevitable Winter. Endless Winter. Minus 25% freeze damage taken, plus 25% burn damage taken. I like the head of the Oryx. Okay. I mean... It's kind of obvious, right? It's, it's going to be useful for some kind of specific... Um, fight, I guess? Fortune Seeker's Journal. The last pages in this journal are smudged with blood. Slipped on the ice and broke my legs. Oh, you poor man. This guy is probably the grieving mother. <laughs> Maybe it's just a white void affecting my mind, but I don't have a single regret. A lot of pain, but no regrets. Learn a trade, they said. Open a shop, they said. Invest in a wagon, they said. Plant parsnips, they said. Which just goes to show you that the type of person who wants to die in their sleep lacks imagination. I'd rather die screaming on top of the world than whimpering at the bottom. So let the screaming begin. I'm not sure I agree with that. <laughs> I am not sure I agree with that. But... Of course. You do you, my friend. Scream away. Scream away. To think. I could have been using the missile salvo for some time now. And I just wasn't. This is more than likely the entrance, uh, the exit we saw on the west side. I'm just going to make absolutely sure that it is. It is. Okay. So let's go into the temple. Temple of Decline. And this should be the entire area explored, yes. A temple to Rimmergand. This looks like an arena. So... It there is going to scout. Seems to be empty. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I see where this is. What say? Yours to command, Captain. Okay, I think it's safe for us to I move say? together. There is a pa No, there isn't. Looked like a passage. I like the sound of the cold wind. Uh, this is looking ominous, though. Hello, my friend. Oh, that's the Void Breach. It's pulling him back. No, no. And off he goes. Okay, are we? It ate the dragon. Captain? I hope you have no wish to follow that beast. I, I kind of do, but I think I have to. This icy chasm ex extends to no visible bottom. Wonderful. So, are we going into the void breach? I like that. 
sounds dangerous as hell, but I like it. What you initially take for yet another frozen corpse appears on closer inspection to be a heavily armored figure encrusted in a jagged layer of cloudy bluish ice. The warrior's upraised hand seems to, ha seems to be reaching out towards something, the fingers played wide and grasping. Let's examine the outstretched hand. Uh, God damn it. Two of the fingers have been broken from the hand. Based on the hard, sharp edges of what's left, it seems this occurred after the figure froze over. The angle of the joints indicated the warrior once gripped something tightly. Something since removed. Deep scratches in the wrist suggested someone clawed at the figure long after it froze over, perhaps to remove the absent object. Let's examine the armor. Oh, I don't have Shori, but it should be fine. Religion? The breastplate and chain armor by the, uh, worn by this figure seem significantly more intricate than anything else you've seen since arriving at Arvinger's Watch. Padding and heavy cloth compete the panoply, probably as protection against the cold. I want to try and do this again, but using history. No, same thing. Search for the presence of spirits. You open your soul to the presence of other spirits. While a few strands of weak soul energy cling to the frozen figure, you sense no soul presence within or near the body. Let's remove the helmet. The helmet does not appear to, to be as solidly frozen to the figure as the rest of the armor. A few minutes spent wiggling and tugging at it frees the helm. You lift it to reveal an elven woman with bluish white skin and darker blue hair. Her coloration and the heavy epicanthic folds hooding her eyes mark her as Glamfallon. We gain the item Helm of the White Void. Crystallized armor. 10% of incoming grace is converted to misses from weapons. That's good. And Rimergan's influence. Plus 10 accuracy with body afflictions and mind affliction attacks. Hmm. Cool. Remove the armor. The, armor intricate, the armor's intricate straps, weave, chain and interlocking plates have frozen solid. Removing the armor without damaging the warrior within may prove difficult, if not impossible. What? She's dead. I'm gonna melt the ice with magic. Vatnir summons forth a blast of flame. Apparently, Aloth is too far back to interact with this. Steam billows outward as the ice melts away from the corpse. After a moment, flickering orange light and cracking sounds emerge from within the cloud as the corpse's clothes, clothes ignite. The charred remains sank to the floor, rapidly cooling as the magical flame runs its course. You gather the miraculously unharmed armor from the remains. Well, so much for not harming the, <laughs> the body. Guardian's Plate. Is this also soulbound? Plus the, okay, uh, Grand Spread Chaos. Plus 5 to all defenses. The weather is infused with Rimergan's energy, gaining a bonus to all defenses while afflicted. Eh, don't like it. Speak a prayer for the elf soul. You take a few minutes to consign the deceased to the wheel. Oh, I hope that was an apology, Captain. Okay. Takehu frowns down at the shards of frozen remains blanketing the floor. You leave the remains behind. I mean, was there a way for me to not, not do that? Oops, not this. Um, <laughs> this is soulbound. I mean, I kind of want to check out how, what this does, but I mean, I can always remove the armor and swap it for this one. Because I, I do like this one quite a bit. Um, maybe drop this. <laughs> Fighter. Reforge the soul of a follower of Rimmergand. Eh? Reforge the soul of a follower of Rimmergand. 
I have no idea what that means, but it looks like it's something that can level up the armor without me having to have it equipped. I'm just gonna continue. Speak your mind. It will be so. Vitmat. Yeah. It's even a new icon. Big save. We're going into the Frost Hewn Breach. You stand before the shining portal that devoured the dragon. This close, you see it as a ragged edged tear in the world. As you near, the portal flares bright, brighter, too bright to stand. Hmm. When the light fades and at last you can see again, <laughs> a great shaggy aurochs stands before you. A bone snapping chill radiates from the creature. It is the manifestation of Reamer God. There is something quite interesting here. Notice his eye. It's the same style of eye that my companion has. Hmm. Herald of Bereth, you teeter on the very precipice of your death to once again violate my realm. Do you desire dissolution after all? I'm tired. I'm ready for all. The... I have I have work yet to do. Yes, Bereth does keep their hound on a short leash. Should you ever want for a final freedom from the Pallid Knight's grasp, seek me. I will gladly grant it. Passing through the breach will shred your soul into its constituent mm. parts, to little more than wayward motes of essence. What does this mean? Knowing that, what do you want? These are very strange answers to this question. But okay, what happened to the dragon? Her soul was drawn through the breach, the Vitmouth, and into the beyond. Nereskirlas has bound her soul to a relic from the days when the gods walked Aora as titans. Nereskirlas. This relic lies in the beyond, and it holds her soul captive there. Who is Nereskilas? That is the name the okay. dragon chose for herself. What relic? It is one of the many things Kith have thrown into the beyond, in hopes it might be devoured by the White Void. And why did the dragon bind its soul to it? The relic cannot be destroyed. In her ignorance, Nereskilas hoped that tying her soul to it would save her from death. Kinda makes sense. She is mistaken. True death has not claimed her yet. But it will. It is inevitable. Is that why this iceberg is here? Yes. The iceberg is the natural result of Nereskirlas's desperate attempt to evade death. Every time she escapes from the beyond into the here, she tears the hole a little wider. And so, the chill of my realm spreads. And your cult, the Harbingers, what about them? They have done as Kith always do. They have <laughs> claimed for themselves a place that is not their own. They are no concern of mine. What's the difference between the Vitmad and the White Void? The Vitmouth is the gaping maw of entropy. The White Void is the hunger that gnaws at the guts of Aora and cannot be sated. Hmm. Your breach will freeze the dead fire if you don't close it. That is unfortunate for you. You don't care. Then I'll close the breach myself. Ah, initiative. Excellent. There is something you may do for me, like a maggot. The dragon okay. Nereskirlas has burrowed beneath the skin of my realm. So kind of obvious. He wants me to kill the dragon? Destroy her. Okay. So why do you want her dead? She is already dead. She refuses to acknowledge it. She has made herself immune to destruction by my hand, and in so doing, mm. she mocks the very essence of my realm. 
And why do you think I will succeed where you have failed? The relic she bound her soul to has proven impervious to my influence. Okay. <clears throat> Just gonna say I see. Destroy her. What's in it for me? A temporary reprieve <laughs> from my inevitable victory. I know you're the enigmatic god of cold and all, but I need more to go on than that. Eradicate the dragon, and the weak mouth ah. will close, sparing your precious realm the insatiable cold of the white void. With pleasure. A low rumble shakes the ground beneath your feet. I would rather watch you fail than bar your entry. But you lack the means to enter the Veet oh. and survive the Oh, I have it. You must seek the Eye of Ringergand, a relic that once belonged to my vassal, Reenheider. It is a cold blue stone, and it lies somewhere within this temple. You mean this? Indeed. Approach the Veet Mouth with the relic in hand. It will grant your soul safe passage into the Shattered Realms. The White Void's only purpose is to destroy souls, and it is adept at doing so. I will not stop my servants there from their work. They will treat mm, you no course. differently than any wayward soul. Should you fall to their predations, not even Bereth will be able to save you. Remergon pauses, his dark cluster of eyes watching you intently. One final thing, Watcher. Tell me. You must destroy that dragon. I heard. When his words fall silent, and only the shriek of the wind through the breach remains, the light flares again, then quickly dies. You open your eyes and find the beast. Gone. Awesome. Enter the beyond via the Viat Mouth. Apparently it's red Viat Mouth. Uncover the eye, we have it. Let's go. The blinding light of the breach pulses in time with the heartbeat of Aora. Your soul pulses in response. Enter the breach. No fear. Okay. I shall kill you, dragon. Following certain death. I like <laughs> I like the name of this achievement very much. Enter the beyond. Okay, so what are my quests looking like? We completed one and we got death deathless dominion. DDD. I've arrived in the beyond, but have yet to find the dragon Neris, Neris Killas. I must press deeper into Rimmergan's frigid domain if I'm to locate her. Soul collectors! Bitch, if you see Mr. Piggy, you're gonna poop your pants. He killed your brother. Oh god, what is this? Ooh! Oh! Summons a Scourge. That's cool. Seems kind of pointless, though. It, it looks like a dumb fighter. Okay, so... We have a Soul Collector, and I know those are tough, or at least he was tough. When I fought it previously. This one is going to be a new enemy. They look like patrols... They seem to be kind of alone. So, I'm gonna do as I usually do. Sup, bitches? We're gonna do our typical buffy buffies. Not this. This. Uh, I messed up my queuing. Chill fog. 
They're not immune to cold, they are just strong against it. Violent collapse. Resistant to intellect and might. Immune to constitution. Immune to um, corrode. Okay. But weak to crushing. And also weak to crushing, which means the missile salvo is gonna destroy. <laughs> he buffed himself with entropic shrouds, giving him concentration apparently. Uh, let's go for the chill fog. We can speed this up. What is this? Oh, the trinket, yeah. Hello, friends. How are you? You doing good? I hope so. You are about to die. Oops. Go fight, Mr. Piggy. Go fight. Well, he does have a lot of HP, apparently. He is considered a fighter because he has a fighter ability there. Uh, Eloth. They are also weak to... F no, he's weak to fire, he's not weak to fire. Combusting wounds, then we're gonna go for a wall of fire, and then... Probably this. So, I blinded him, I bled him... Okay. Just two wounding shots. Ow. Okay, Mr. P got knocked back. Oh, this was the violent collapse? Let me see what this is, actually. Or, actually, I can't see it because I cannot focus with my animal companion. He has test subject, ring of clenched muscle, giving him acute. My buffs are apparently done with my priest here. I'm gonna go for this. Okay. Let's go for this beam. Everybody's getting healed, they're getting damaged. The scourge is about to die. The skull collector is dead. Yeah, buddy! Mr. Piggy, taking care of the Soul Collector. You stand no chance. Wait, what? Oh. Ooh, corrosive soul essence. It's a poison... Is it a bomb? No, it's a poison to apply. Shaken, raw damage. Okay. Shaken is good. I love this music. I really do. Oh, who are you? You are a brave man. Never mind. She had my... It looked like the lady. She had my armor you piece. You followed me into the abyss? Have you so little respect for the scant years your fragile form affords you? I was gonna say, she has my armor and shield uh, from me there. The dragon growls through sword-like teeth, yet the meaning behind the sounds ring within your mind. I know not why the short-sightedness of Kith continues to surprise me. Leave while the option remains, lest you be bound here as I am. Dragons in this game are very well drawn, I like it. What are you? Circumstance does not afford me time to address ridiculous queries. <laughs> yeah, you have to go to work, right? Um, according to Rimmer again, you died when you entered this place. The words of your dead oxen god concern <laughs> me not. You'll feel a lot less trapped after I kill you again. I smell the blood of Sephira upon you. Probably a dragon I killed in PoE 1. I don't. Maybe one of the dragons from Lengrath? Do you make a habit of inflicting yourself upon your betters? Do you believe your work righteous? I kill only those I must I must to help those who need it. Yep. Well, sometimes. I mean there's always some unexpected killing, right? What about all those bears who weren't asking for any trouble? It's true, it's true with there, I'm sorry, but they came at me. 
None here require your assistance, nor will any benefit from it. The great reptile's head cranks to the right, turning a glowing eye upon you. A snort flares of nostrils. Descend into the void or do not. I care neither way. But know that within its depths do all things encounter their endings. Hmm. Okay, so no confrontation. Oh god. No confrontation this time. Just imagine, if she used this as an ability during a fight, we would all die instantly. <laughs> In the silence that follows the dragon's descent, a faint twinge plays along the air of your arms. After a moment, you realize that the sensation stems from your soul, a faint echo of essence across your watcher senses. The fractured pieces of the armored spirit you saw rush to battle Neris Neriskilas reach out to you, beckoning. Oh, collect the soul fragments. So somebody went to fight the dragon and died. Faintly pulsing strands of soul essence collect here as if seeking one another's comfort. As you reach out to it with your spirit, the broken soul seems to peer back at you. The damned dragon hisses as you drive the mace upward into the bottom of its jaw. It attempts to bat you away from the vith mouth, but you duck beneath its claws. You jam the edge of your shield into the side of its neck. You will not again allow it passage into the world of the living. With an abrupt shock of pain, the vision ends. The strands of the sundered soul cling to you like cobwebs. And this is the part where I would like to have Shori with me. She would probably uh, comment something about her lantern. I witnessed the spirit attack Neris, Neris Kirlas, only for the dragon to tear it apart. If I can locate the pieces of the spirit, perhaps I can reassemble it and learn more about the dragon. I'm guessing this is what is needed to upgrade the, um, the chest armor from it there, the soulbound item. I found a piece of the Guardian's fragmented soul. If I locate the others, perhaps they can tell me more about... Ner okay. The faintly pulsing strain... Okay, so we've seen this before. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, inter interweaving with those you collected before. The spirit goes stronger within you. It's an honor, your mother told you. The altar of the clan rarely sends for Gandhur among the clans. An or... Or Jomma term for an elite class of temple guards, renowned for laying down their lives in the service of protecting holy sites. But your heart breaks as the land recedes behind your ship. You never noticed this before, such warmth for your frigid home, but it is stark as day in its absence. You'll sail north, the captain tells you, keeping well to the west of Nasitak and its stout defenders. The journey will take weeks, but it will be quicker. He says as he points you towards the oars, if you're rowing with the rest of us. The roiling essence settles within you. Okay. One more piece here. Hmm, this place is not that big. The faintly pulsing strands of... S uh, okay, the same thing as before. Rin... Rinha... God. Rinha Edr. Olrun's daughter... Dragged again before the elders for wandering. Never leave the clan without another, they said before. Would say again, each time drumming it into her shoulders with a staff of etched bone. The land is one of endings. The beast of winter's dread... The... The... The main? The main? I don't know. Where he lurks beneath the snow, above the stars and within red fangs and claws. Never walk alone. The girl would not learn. Bjarn... Bia Bjarn Lifol tells them, for her ears are frozen shut. She wants to hit him, but he's a bare-blooded adult grown, and she but a gawkish child of fish and berries. He's not worth another drumming. The elder silences him. She will learn, the wizened elf answers, or she will die. Regardless, she belongs to Rimmergand and not to you. The reconstituted soul pulses like a heart. Okay. This is like an other tree, which contains nothing, apparently. This seems interesting. Let's go left. I think we can unstealth here, to move quickly. Oh, I cannot pass the water, okay. Interesting, can I jump over the water? Uh... 
wait. Is this like a... This might be like a puzzle or something. Oh, God. No. Bounding boots, that's it. Yeah, he can. This might actually just be a puzzle to reach that place. Hmm, interesting. Okay, not gonna explore that right now, but good to know. And again, I forgot to level up my, my stupid pole arm. This is just scenery. Okay. Mr. Chauncey is liking to travel. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end this episode here a little bit shorter. Today I don't have as much time as usual to play. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, in the next episode, we are going to continue exploring this Shattered Passage. There's apparently two rays of light that we need to explore. And maybe some jumping puzzles around here. We'll see. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just gonna thank you all for being here with me in the channel, watching some PoE2 Deadfire along with, with Mr. Chanchi over here, walking in the snow. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, any suggestions, if you just want to say hi, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. There's videos coming out every single day, and it's also a free and easy way to support the channel. I hope to see you all in the next episode, and until then, stay safe, everyone.